Hello, my name is Doug Tembrack from QMS, Quality Management Solutions. Uh, what this video is going to show is the new eQMS R&R results recording uh, screen against the new configuration for that screen so you can see the power that is making the screen work. What I have here is a split screen so I can show this. On this side is part of the EQMS r results recording screen. <clears throat> this side is the um, the actual configuration on the ECC client. And what we see here on the first uh, line of this, I'm into a configuration screen that was built and created specifically for this results recording, this web-based results recording screen and what we're seeing here is the required field settings in this case work center is required that's why over here we have the red on a setting here says how should the uh, control chart be shown and in this case by checking this will be a separate pop-up versus an overlay on the screen and then how should the field show? Should they show the characteristic description, characteristic code? And so at what shown at this point in the earlier demo was the characteristic description. And then once I highlight this screen or this line, I then go in to view the text and there is the option of making this a certain description if you want to making this going into results recording whatever you want that to be and whatever you want sample management to be called going into the sample management section of the screen and then if I look at the tab definitions this is where you're going to get a lot of the power as we're actually saying right here is on which plant and which tabs are going to go on the screen. How many tabs do we need as a plant? How many different tabs across? So I'm going to execute this program here and I'll show you what tabs I'm talking about. This relates to this, these tabs here. Chemistry and Chemistry 2 and, and the different tabs I had on this part of the detail screen, results recording the earlier um, display of that earlier demo. Then, if I go into tab description, I'm now saying, like in this case, for uh, chemistry station one here, that's tab on tab three, chemistry station one. On tab eight was chemistry station two. Well, what that means is there were no tests that were in one or two or uh, in those or four or five, six, and seven because we have chemistry station one and two. So there were no tests that were in those other groups. And then the different uh, tabs are aligned to the descriptions that you would have on those tabs. And then this final, this is between this work here deciding what groupings of tabs do we need in total what workbench names or how we want to break down our work in the lab and then once we have those groupings which would then fall under these tabs here in the results recording we would then come over to the tab control and say I'll use plant 3100 here because that's what I'm used, I used for the earlier demo on tab 3, these tests are to be on tab 3. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tests that are set up for tab 3, which was, if I go back here, tab 3 is chemistry station 1. So go back here. There's six set up for tab three, but when I come down here, there's only three. And that's because in these inspection lots, out of these six, there were only three tests that applied. Not all of these tests were being done. 
So saying what tasks go with what group that then go says what description is the work that needs to be set up. This is where the bulk of the planning and thinking needs to be done up front. And then once that work is done, any changes to equipment or benches would need to be updated here if you're moving equipment around or if you get a new piece of equipment uh, or new tests come in you would have to add them to one of the tabs that makes you know makes sense or add new tab because it's a brand new workbench so that's the configuration behind this eqms r and r results recording we would help you come up with and think through how should the grouping be done and then the what test then would that apply to that group what test would apply to that tab and if I close this up and show the whole screen here you know again this is the different uh, this happened to be, I think it was five or seven uh, as far as a tab. That means there were no other tests in between there applied to those other tabs that were in that configuration. That's how these titles come up. That's how these result or tests that need to be done. There's four tests that need to be done on that tab. And then that's the name of that tab we did back in the description of that configuration. So that is the configuration and really the planning that needs to be done up front. But once that planning is done, let me close this up and show more of the results recording screen. Then this aligns much better with the lab workbench. So that's the comparison between the screen with the configuration. Thank you.